back everyone to another edition of Rudy's Rants. I am doing this live today, so we might be in a little bit of a drag, but I wanted to jump on here live because <clears throat> I know I said I wouldn't watch the women's Olympic team um, because Caitlin Clark isn't playing. Well, I will admit that today I did watch about 14 minutes of the game in the second half. And I wanted to comment on it because the, oh, my chair just went down. Sorry about that, folks. I'm having problems with this damn chair. I'm going to have to get a new one. I keep saying that, but, you know, I don't know if I just got too fast for the chair. But, yeah, I just want to jump in on this. Um, Team USA win today over Belgium. They won 87-74. But I think there's a big thing that people need to understand. But right now, just, you know, we're live. so jump on we'd love to see you feel free to jump in the chat i'll be sure to answer any questions i won't be on here very long however what you saw today for the 14 minutes that i saw is you saw a team that's heavily heavily reliant on asia wilson and brianna stewart they're the entire offense they are the entire offense and what you have with this Team USA, you have a team that is slow. You have a team that doesn't push the pace. You have a team that really can't shoot all that well. You have a team that is heavily reliant on forwards and center, for example, Asia Wilson, relying on their forwards and centers to move the ball because their guard play sucks. Sabrina Ionescu had five assists, but that's the pretty much all they did as a team. This team shot 29 for 65, 44.6%. They shot five of 14 from three. They had 25 assists. Eight steals, four blocks, 16 turnovers. That rebounded Belgium 48-28. That's your ballgame. That is your ballgame. Belgium, their shooting abandoned them today. They were 5 of 27. So between the rebounding and the, and the poor three-point shooting from Belgium, that's your game. Because the guard play for the United States was so damn bad. So damn bad. How bad was it? Six guards combined to shoot six for 20 for 16 points and 14 assists. And that's not including the fact that Kalia, Cop Kalia Copper got benched. <laughs> the, one, the one who might be your most athletic, most um, dynamic guard got benched. Said before, Jewel Lloyd's not a point. Jewel Lloyd's not a point guard. Kelsey Plum is not a point guard. Jackie Young is not a point guard. Sabrina Inescu is not a point guard, even though she's kind of playing point here. She's not really a point guard. Diana Taurasi is not a point guard. Chelsea Gray is the only point guard on this team, and Chelsea Gray is injured. Told you guys this before. Telling you again, she's not deserving of being on this team. And it's real damn frustrating when you see someone on a team that shouldn't be on the team. You have Chelsea Gray, who played nine minutes, was 0 for 2 with three assists and two turnovers and one steal and one rebound in nine minutes. Why is she on this team? Why? What is the reason for having Chelsea Gray on this team? I said it when they made this decision to put her on the team. Remember, they said, oh, you know, you have to have been at this silly, nonsensical workout. Well, Asia Wilson wasn't at that workout. She was on a book tour. Um, Chelsea Gray was injured. And you have a, a team of people that weren't actually at the thing that they said was required. It is, this team is going to win gold. I said it regardless, they're going to win gold. 
But again, you've cheated the nation. You cheated the nation. You cheated this, you cheated this country. You cheated the world out of seeing Caitlin Clark out there. You cheated the world out of seeing Angel Reese out there. Caitlin Clark would have had 15 assists. Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark would have been dominating this this play. Her ability to create. I mean, why do we have Brianna Stewart pushing the ball up the floor? Why do we have Asia Wilson pushing up the ball up the floor? They should be receiving the ball down the floor from a an elite passer like Caitlin Clark. What you have is a bunch of shoot first guards on this team and Chelsea Gray, who is ineffective. She did have she did have the uh she had a big first game with 13 assists, but this game today, terrible. Belgium was only down seven in the fourth quarter. Seven. I, I mean, realistically, this they could have won this game. I mean, that's the part of the game that I saw. I didn't see the beginning. Like I said, I, I watched the last 14 minutes, end of the third, and I watched the fourth. And I thought Belgium just let, let it go. They, they gave it away. They had a chance to win that game. And they gave it away because they couldn't hit, hit they couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. But you are seeing a team minus a real point guard, and it's abundantly clear that this team is just too old and too slow. I would have had both Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese on this team for purposes of marketing, because that's a critical thing that the Olympic Committee seems to forget is that the WNBA is in desperate need of marketing its product internationally, and this would have done it for them. I thank you for your comments, Duke Lombardi. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You bring a bunch of players that play the exact same position. Th that's, that's exactly it. The exact same position. Mike Hall. Um, yeah, that assumes that Reeve would start <laughs> Caitlin Clark, not a guaranteed thing with her. You're right. But I, I, I think if she was on the team, she wouldn't have much of a choice. <laughs> but you, you are right there. Um, but overall, I, I'm, I'm just you know, watching this group, even for the 14 minutes. The, the crowd was pro-Belgium. They wanted Belgium to win. For which... I mean, I know Belgium's a lot closer to France than the U.S., but let's keep it a buck, man. People want people want to see the United States basketball team for the men's, and they want to be there. And yeah, they claim the crowd was a much bigger crowd today. I don't know. I, I would. I, it seemed like from the, the 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 shots that I saw of the arena, like the upper deck looked empty. Even in the darkness, it looked like it was empty. But maybe it wasn't. Maybe they drew more people because of Belgium. But this USA team is not a fun team to watch, even for the 14 minutes that I saw. And the guard play is so goddamn bad. I mean, <laughs> to have 16 points between six guards, six guards and 16 total points, that's crazy to me. I mean, what are your, th what are your thoughts on that? Because I, I've never hit <laughs> six guards with 16 total points. But this goes back to how you selected a team. Poorly put together team with a bunch of people that play the same damn position. If you look beyond, if you look beyond it, only one, three people took five shots. Wilson took 17, Stort took 14, and the, re the next highest, I'm sorry, Jewel Lloyd took seven. Inescu, Griner, and Thomas took five. Plum, three. Tyrosi, three. Gray, two. Collier, four. Jackie Young doesn't take a shot. Why is Jackie Young there again? It's a shooting guard. How many shooting guards do you need? How many shooting guards do you need? They're going to win gold. We know it. They're going to win gold. But what we also know is that this, this uh, team desperately, desperately needed to have Caitlin Clark on. It because Chelsea Gray is not the answer. Thank you for joining us, uh, Betsy. Um, I did not know that Belgium is six miles away from the French border, um, but they were there for them. They weren't there for the United States. I'm not looking at a map, so thank you for the geography lesson. 
I'm typically good in geography, but this time I'm not. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. Um, you know, the selection committee. Hey, Duke, the selection committee said they were protecting Caitlin from the international play. Those ten. <laughs> you got the, you hit that one on the head. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're they were protecting her. <laughs> She's six foot tall, five eleven. Uh, VVS, Caitlin's passing and shooting, and Reese running the. I mean, yeah, it would have been box office. I I agree with you completely. Would have been, would have been box office. Um, I am hitting the like button. Yeah. Thank my thank you, Mike. I appreciate everyone hit the like button and you know tell your people to subscribe if you haven't subscribed subscribed yet. I know that she was never considered Chris. I know Angel Reese was never considered. I'm not, but I'm still sitting here telling that she should have been considered. She should have been on this team. If just for the marketing perspective. I do I don't think she's better than the women that are on the team. I think Caitlin Clark is better than every single player on this team except for Asia Wilson. But I think that Angel Reese's motor and engine would have been very very helpful to this team and i think it would have been great for the marketing component because that's what the, that's what this is about the nba when the nba got going internationally it was from the dream team in 1992 because before that there weren't very many international players dream team comes along and then you start seeing all these international players i mean look at the draft that just happened right now you probably couldn't name who the hell was in that draft. Let's just take a look. I mean, I know who the first pick, the first couple picks were, but these are all these. Most of these guys are all foreigners. They're all international players. Zachary Risacher, Alex Saar, Tijan Sal Saluan, um, Nicola Topic. Of the top thir fourteen picks, one. The top 14 picks, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that came out of college. You got four, four, four international players, five international players. College players aren't getting drafted in the, in, the, in, in the NBA draft as much. They're being overlooked for international talent. That here, that here, none of us have ever heard of. We've never heard of them. If you haven't done so by now, please do subscribe. Hit that like. We appreciate you. We definitely appreciate you. Um, but yeah, what are your thoughts? You know, I appreciate you commenting. It's, it, this is really cool. I, I, I enjoy this live component because I like to interact. And I do thank you for jumping on here. But I again, I'm telling you right now, yes, they're going to win gold. They're going to win gold. If they don't win gold, it'd be shocking. However... You know, it, it's one of those things where you watch this and you're and you're just, if Belgium could have shot the ball well today, they'd have won that game. Five for twenty-seven from three. That's their game. If they if they shoot, if they hit ten of twenty-seven, which is still not great, they win. This was what I want. I wanted to see Caitlin Clark playing with two of the best players in the world, with, with Brianna Stewart and Asia Wilson, and give them a, 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 a beeline for layups. The pace would have been pushed high with Caitlin Clark. You see it with Indiana. She pushes, 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 pushes. Let me look at your uh, comment here, Philip. How can you expect the selection committee to judge Caitlin Clark's basketball potential two months ago? After all, someone would have had to be an incredibly poor judge of talent for that to be the case. How can I expect them to? Um, because she was playing better than all of them when they selected the team. Caitlin Clark was actually playing better than every guard on that team when they selected the team. And now she's playing head and shoulders better than every one of them two months since. So she was already better at the time, and now she's clearly better without question, but she was already better. So it wasn't that hard to me. Betsy Hayes, Belgium's best player, was out due to injury. Um, that obviously, that obviously hurt then. <laughs> VVS, these women have been doing all this complaining for money and attention, and they blow it. You're right, 100%. You're right, 100%. You know what I find funny is that the French game, the game that France played, it actually drew less than the Belgium game did, but yet we're in France. So I don't know about these attendance numbers. I'd love to actually see photos, more photos of the arena inside. Um, but I know, I know for, I know for sure that 
the viewership internationally on television would have been astronomical with Caitlin Clark on that floor. I have no doubt about that. I have no doubt about it. I know they claim there were 3 million people that watched that game, the first game on TV. I don't know how much I trust that number, but let's say there were. If Caitlin Clark played, then, then there would have been 6 million because we know what Caitlin Clark was drawing in college basketball at Iowa, and we know what she was drawing, what she's been drawing for the WNBA every game she plays. So I, I would venture to guess that if she's on that floor, they draw a lot more than 3 million. That's my belief. Um, they would have drawn six. She's worth that. She's proven it. She's proven it. Michael LeBlanc, I appreciate it, Michael. Help me get those subscribers. We are six months in. We're at hitting on 2,400 subscribers. So please do share this with your friends and, you know, post it wherever you post it. Because I, I would, you know, we're definitely trying to grow the channel. I mean, the algorithm for uh, YouTube is difficult to crack. Um, it's funny. We've cracked it a whole lot better on Instagram because I post all these videos on Instagram as well. And I have videos that have drawn 10,000 views on Instagram that draw 1,000 views on YouTube. I mean, we had a 1.1 million viewership uh, short on Instagram that drew like 3,000 on YouTube. So, yeah, I'm trying to figure out this uh, algorithm and, you know, on a daily basis because, I mean, when Angel Reese was going up to that double-double thing, people were watching all these videos. So it, 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 is, uh, it is a humbling experience trying to crack this algorithm with uh, – YouTube because we are growing and I greatly appreciate it and I definitely thank you for jumping on here and anything you can do to push us forward we greatly appreciate it. Um Thank you. Thank you Duke. I appreciate the the subscription. Yeah, Ben Daniel did a did a, did a feature of our, one of our videos which I'm very very uh, grateful for and thankful to him because that's very helpful. He has a great podcast. I do watch all the time. Uh, he does a great, great job. So I'm thankful to him for doing our vi doing that video on us, because every little bit helps. You know, we're all in this same battle to draw, to get attention. And I, I mean, I watch tons of podcasts. I watch tons of them. So it's uh, yeah, <laughs> Michael, I agree. It's a black box and magic, <laughs> magic tricks. It's it's difficult to crack, definitely. Because it's funny. I, I'm a big MMA fan as well. And I mean, I don't know if any of you ever watched. I do Combat Corner. Um, huge in MMA, bare knuckle, boxing, all that stuff. And I have a video that does a few hundred views. And then I'll, I had a view, video that I did that had 7,000 views on UFC 300. But ever since then, it's like it hasn't drawn the same. And they seem like good pieces of content to me. And and then they just kind of stall. So, yeah, it's one of those battles that I'm going through, with, with, that we are going through as, as a team here. I come on now the podcast um, and trying to figure this thing out. But yeah, I mean, it, it, do you, do people even know when the WNBA comes back into play after the Olympics? I do, but I'm going to presume that most people don't. And it's because this wonderful committee decided to leave Caitlin Clark off. It's August 15th for anyone of you, for those of you who may not know. Uh, and WNBA comes back August 15th. But that was part of the momentum that was being built up, and then the momentum has now fallen off of a cliff because there's not a whole lot to talk about in terms of women. The WNBA right now is we're watching a uh, an Olympic team that looks slow as shit, <laughs> has lousy guard play. And I'm not saying they're lousy players, but the guard play is bad. It's just bad right now. You know, BBS, I only care about when Caitlin sucks. I agree. Duke, I had, <laughs> there you go. Philip, I don't know how many do you need because we're at. I mean, they have six right now on that team. And they only and they played one point guard with six. Kalia Copper didn't play, so they only played five of their shooting guards. Uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, and Alyssa, Alyssa Thomas, I don't even know what position she truly plays because she's like a point forward for for her team for the Connecticut Sun, and that's not that doesn't fit this. I mean, she finished with eight points, six rebounds, and four assists off the bench, but I don't want my forwards handling the ball like that. And I, it just, uh, it's weird. It's one of those weird things. <clears throat> 1.2 million split 12 ways. 
Yeah, the 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 WNBA you could have paid their entire league with a mid-level exception from the NBA. I mean, heck, Erica Wheeler was making two hundred and forty-two thousand dollars last year for Indiana. Do people know that? She took a pay cut to about two hundred this year, but she was making two hundred and forty-two thousand dollars last year. You know, I'm a big baseball fan, so I am watching baseball, and I do I do enjoy watching the Olympics, and I will be watching a lot of track and field, and I have watched the men's team play, and you know, I, I confess I did watch 14 minutes today, and I said I wouldn't, but I wanted to see if Belgium could take him out. <laughs> I really did, because when I saw the score was that it was only like a seven eight point game, I'm like, oh geez, these, this is actually just proves that they should have had uh, Caitlin Clark on that on that court. Definitely should have had Caitlin Clark on that court. But yeah. Um, that's about to wrap. I'm about to wrap it up for, for this live session. I thank you all for jumping on and commenting and, and getting in on this with us. Please do share, like, subscribe, and ring that bell. What are your thoughts overall on that performance today by Team USA if you did see it? Did you see the slow guard? Did you see the slow play from this team? The terrible guard play. It's 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 just you needed Caitlin Clark. You needed Caitlin Clark because she is her. Come on now.